pretty much understanding how to hustle, man. Rap Nation Revolution, the movement is brewing, so get your pot of coffee, man, and wake the fuck up. How to hustle and win, been out, Rap Nation Revolution, April 2009, if it's past April 2009, that means it's already out, so go look for it. If you can't find it in the bookstore, either tell them to get it or go to hustleandwin.com and pick up a copy. Today we're going to talk about how to step, step your game up. The reason for that is because I know we're in a tough economy right now and people are struggling, you know, a lot of people are struggling. And so I figure I'll pass in a little bit of game and, and really maybe just do like a little bit of motivational speaking like Jesus said, man, you know. He ain't a rapper. He's a motivational speaker. I'm not an author. I'm a motivator, man. I'm just I'm I'm just here to tell it what tell you what it is and empower you to do something with it. So uh, stepping your game up basically means that whatever you're doing, you have to constantly look at it like it's not enough. If you're satisfied, if you're complacent, if you're like I'm doing enough, then you fucked up, man. Something is wrong with you because really the only thing constant in the universe is change. So you're supposed to constantly be growing, you're supposed to constantly be looking at how, can you, how you can improve, how you can do more, how you can do bigger and better things, how you can expand, how you can move into other areas, do things that you're not currently doing. And uh, that's what life is all about, man. Life is about growth and development. Why else would we be on the planet, man? You know, because really, if life was, I mean, if life didn't have no meaning behind it, really, then nobody would be here. It, it would just be fucking space and clouds and shit like that, and that's it. But really, the reason why we put ourselves in this planet, man, is to learn, to grow, to develop, to interact with each other, to develop meaningful relationships, to go through exchanges, and, you know, that's what life is. So, we have to expand in every way, whether it's socially, you know, mentally, uh, uh, whatever, you know. But right now, we're going to talk about economics, because we're in a recession, man. And we're in a recession that's not too far from plunging into a depression. So, stepping your game up requires that not only do you look at your situation like whatever it is is not enough. And I'm not talking about being greedy. I'm just saying you got to look at it like you could be doing more. Not you want more, like you want somebody to give you more, but you could be doing more. Um, I'll give you an example, right? I know a lot of motherfuckers that's been nickel and diamond for years now. Now, at some point, even if you're on the corner, don't you say to yourself, man, why the fuck am I still on this corner pushing this shit hand to hand? Like, shouldn't I at least be moving fucking OZs or something? Like, I understand everybody not going to be moving no birds. I understand everybody is not going to be shipping weight and moving state to state and doing I know everybody's not going to do that. But if you're going to be in that game, god damn, 10 years pushing fives and tens? And you satisfied every time you move a little 20, a little half ounce, and that's something big for you? That shit is pathetic. Same thing with females. I know, I man, when I go to the club, man, I be seeing the same females in there every fucking time. They be wearing the whole outfit, you know, the whole, whole outfit, you know. I ain't say the whole outfit, the whole, as in whore, the whole outfit. You know, you know what it is, you know, whatever it takes to get a dude's attention. The shit got variations, but it's all the same principle. See, the game got variations, but it's always the same principles. So, it don't matter what city, town, state you're in, you know what a whole outfit is. And they be going all out, they be getting, you know, they be getting danced on, they be getting the drinks, they be, you know, fucking putting on the show. Or they might not be getting danced on, they just might be putting on the show in VIP, dancing real seductive and shit, hoping people look at them. And people, of course, people looking at them. But then they be, either they not even driving their own shit, they riding with somebody else in some beat up shit, or they they just looking for a dude to give them a ride to some hotel somewhere. And, you know, like, I know strippers and shit like that, you know. And some, some got their business shit together. It's some motherfuckers that's, that's taking that stripper money, that's taking that money out your pocket. They paying for their kids' private school tuition. They going to college. They ain't got no student loans. You know what I mean? They got businesses starting. They opening up hair salons. They opening up modeling businesses. Shit, they might be even pimping other strippers. I respect that. I respect hustle. I'm talking about that stripper that's been stripping for 10 years and she's still living in that shitty ass rat hole apartment. What the fuck is wrong with you? Because it really takes a special kind of person to be so unproductive that you could be in an industry as lucrative as selling drugs or stripping and you still have not made it up and out. Even if you don't want to make it out, can you at least make it up? Man, I'm, when I was single and dealing with these strippers, man, these girls would, 
I mean, how the fuck is you driving an old 1985 Ford Escort and you strip every night? It ain't like you do something else. What the fuck is you doing with your money? And you're not a crackhead. You got the flyest clothes, but you got the shittiest apartment. The shit smell like urine and you ain't got no kids. Why do your apartment smell like urine and you ain't got no babies? If the babies, are you pissing on yourself? What? I don't understand. I don't understand how dudes could be hustling and they live with their mamas and their grandmas. First of all, how the fuck do your mama and your grandma know that you're doing that shit? You obviously not moving her up out the hood, but she ain't getting rid of your ass? Do she want to be the next witness on another uh, on the first 48? I don't know. Y'all mamas, they got the game twisted. They really got the game twisted. Because if you're going to be doing that shit, you at least supposed to be paying the bills and moving the family up out the hood. You know, the reason why I got the camera like this right now, the reason why I'm talking like this is because my daughter said that it's not a good idea for me to drive and hold the camera and things like that. But I talk with my hands anyway, so like both my hands are still like all over the place. Anyway, I'm doing, I'm trying, I'm trying to do better though. I'm trying to do better. So, the, the point here is, if you haven't stepped your game up yet, you got to take certain steps. The first step is, you got to acknowledge that you got a problem. Your problem is that for everybody, including me, there's more that you could be doing. Like, I could be doing more. Like, I'm getting distributed in 45 states. Look, I need to get the last five. North Dakota need to have How to Hustle and Win. I don't know who the fuck in North Dakota would read How to Hustle and Win. I don't know what my audience is like in Wyoming, but they need to cop it. Somebody need to cop it. I'm sure there's somebody black in Wyoming. Hey, ain't got any black to read the book. So, I need to go ahead and market there. If I'm hustling hard, I should be hustling harder. And you should too. You should never be satisfied with your situation because we as a people, we're not even free yet. So how can you be okay with what you got? How can you be okay even if you're rich? If you know that your people are poor? How can you be okay if you're doing good when you know your people are doing so bad? That's why I can never stop because I got to do this for the people. I got to do what I do, put my life on the front line, put my face out there, put my words out there. It's spend my money on my marketing, my promotion. I don't take out business loans. I don't, I don't have no business loans. I don't have good credit. This is straight hustle. This is straight hustle. And constantly I'm striving to improve. I will never be that dude that is okay with, with, with enough. I'm never going to be that dude saying good enough. And neither should you. Females, your dude, if he ain't great, then he's not good enough. Step your game up. Get you somebody better. If you don't feel like you can do no better, I don't know. I mean, maybe the dude is great. But if he ain't great, then I really hope you got higher self-esteem than that. If, if you like working in retail, that's cool. That's how some people start out. If you're 40 years old and you're working in retail, I hope you got a felony. Because that's your only excuse. I hope you got some excuse like you got kicked out of high school and you went straight to prison. Or, you know, you, got, you had babies when you was 14 and that's why you're working in retail at 30, 40 years old. Otherwise, you ain't got no excuse for working in retail. Unless, you know, it's the economy. Now, if it's the economy and you lost your job as a manager and you had to go into retail, that's cool because you got to feed your family. But I'm talking about if you've been in retail since 1995 and you're still in retail since 2009, there's something wrong with your ass. Just like if you if you that, if you a dude this hustling and you're still on the corner five, ten years straight, or now you feel like you better because you hustling out your house now, no, no, that's not better. That's definitely not better. Or even if you're working at a job, man, and like, you just working at some dead-end job. you still lifting boxes for RPS or UPS or whatever. That's, that's something you do for a time period, man. That ain't no career. That's a temporary position. Even if you're working in one of them small-time positions, you at least will be having your eyes on how you're going to move up. If you don't have your eyes on moving up or moving out, something is wrong with the way you think. And I'm here to help you change that. So the next step is, look at what your options are for expansion. First of all, you got to see that you need to do something more. Then you got to start looking at your resources and your options and your opportunities for how can you do more. And then move on it as fast as possible because ideas have a shelf life. If you sit on it and you don't do nothing, it's going to die.